Hi, my name's Leona from Supraconscious Soul and this is your North Node in Pisces reading. So your North Node, as in your natal North Node in your um, chart, um, astrology chart, yeah? So if you're a, a North Node uh, Pisces, sorry, that means your South Node or where you was in previous lifetimes was a Virgo. So it's very hard, uh, very easy for you to be a bit self-critical. So, you're supposed to push this um, lifetime more towards your Pisces traits or your Pisces North Node traits in order to just expand your soul growth, in order to expand your purpose, your destiny. So, let's have a look for August. What's the highest messages? So, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. That's your old focus. So, there was some kind of te test or challenge that has passed, yeah? You were seeing whether something panned out, you were seeing how much effort was into something or not. The Emperor, so, there was no growth in an area. It could have been that something failed, it could have been that you was being a bit too critical on yourself. The Empress can be in reverse can be somebody who stops seeing the beauty in life because things ain't working out as they planned we've also got the nine of swords so there was something in the past that didn't go as expected yeah and because of that it kind of made you anxious it's given you insomnia there's a bit of guilt there's a bit of regret there's some remorse there's self depleting thoughts we got all of that so the issue The Knight of Cups, we could have a new offer coming in or a message of a new offer, something creative or something emotional, yeah? Spiritual even, Knight of Cups. Then we've got the Knight of Swords, which is another fast communication coming in quickly, um, hasty, a little bit impetuous. Yeah, moving towards our truth, yeah. Trying to see the higher vision, the higher truth, but it's still a little bit cloudy. And that night is running towards the past. So let's have a look at what's distracting you. The four of wands. So that's talking about stability, that's talking about the home. That's talking about a marriage. It's talking about coming home to yourself. It could be something to do with your community at large. What's helping you? We have the Ace of Pentacles. This is an opportunity. This is something you've put a lot of effort into. It, into. it could be a job promotion. It could be um, something that you're studying. But it's an opportunity that comes in for you. New focus, the two of wands. So you're about making a new decision, deciding where it is that you want to go next. Ahead of you, we have the high priestess in reverse. So I feel like you're not trusting your intuition at the moment. It could be because of what went wrong before. Now, let me draw one more card before I finish what I'm saying. So, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to take this now. Because of what's happened before, you're kind of hung up now. We've got the hanged man there. So, you felt like you've given sacrifices before and it hasn't panned out the way you wanted. But the difference between these three cards, where it went wrong, this is where it went wrong. You was putting all your hope, your energy, you was putting all of your effort into one thing. Now... Spiritually, that one thing might have not have been right for you, yeah? So now the universe could be saying to you, look, we're coming with this and you're not seeing it. Why are you not seeing this, yeah? This is somebody coming in. This is like the Holy Grail. This is going on um, a spiritual mission, a creative mission, because creativity is linked to spirituality. It's also linked to love, yeah? So... You're still kind of charging towards what it was that should have worked, 
yeah? Or you still have your heart set on that or your truth set on that, yeah? Now, you could have been set on what it was so that you could get some stability or so that you could get your kind of foot onto a ladder, yeah? And it didn't quite work out. It could have been that you was planning a marriage. So you was thinking about these funds that you needed that invested into something. And it couldn't have, it didn't really pan out. But the thing is, even if it doesn't pan out, you still have this one pentacle, yeah? Now, that one pentacle here is saying to you, don't give up yet, yeah? Because we're trying to give you opportunities. But you're in a stalemate. You're not wanting to make a decision. You could still be focused on this thing here that's kind of anchored to the building here. You're still putting up boundaries. We've got these low walls going on out here. But look at all this expanse of world we have here, yeah? You could be limiting or restricting your view somehow, yeah? You're not following your intuition as well. Now, this can also talk about being betrayed by a woman for some of you, yeah? And it could have been that you put your whole energy into a relationship for some of you, and then it didn't pan out. But what's different about these cards is that this has the Nine of Swords. Now, in terms of manifesting, yeah, this Empress is the Queen of Manifesting. But next to that, all she will manifest is more swords. These are more and more swords. That's all she's going to manifest when she's in reverse. So if something wasn't right for you, yeah, it's that's why you was manifesting that. You had your heart. You was willing to go to the guillotine for what that was. Yeah? But the universe is telling you to reverse this card. Because when you reverse it, you get enlightenment. And with this card as well, you also can't see what he's got behind his back. So the universe is saying to you in some senses, we've got something else behind our back. Just take the freaking cup. And you're like, no, 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 I'm just going to think about this a little bit longer. I'm going to think about this a little bit more. I'm going to meditate on it. There's only so long you can meditate on it before you have to make a decision. Twos are about being at crossroads. It's about finding balance within that decision. The, fo the, f the focus needs to be forward movement, yeah? You have the whole world in your hand. This one stick in, re in relevance to this world means nothing whereas this stick can help you go out and take the world yeah that's the difference so you're not following your signs you're not following your intuitions and if you're following more of a north node um in pisces you should be going down more of an intuitive route yeah with the high priestess this is about going behind the veil here this is about hidden knowledge partial knowledge but you're not allowing yourself access to this knowledge yeah so in this lifetime there's certain spiritual things that you're going to find where you get little gifts along the way yeah this is the universe trying to point you in the right direction this is the universe saying come on take this pentacle and then you can go out of that garden but in some senses you're still stuck on this idea, whatever that four of wands means for you, yeah? It could be a relationship for some of you. Twin flame, um, you felt like they was the one, or you put a lot of energy into it. So the Virgo, this would be an earth card. Your south node would have been in Virgo, which means you've lived many lifetimes doing it this way, which is building up pentacles. They're earth signs, they're grounded, they build finances, yeah? So, the universe is asking you to manifest in a different way. I've also just seen the five of wands in reverse. It's about releasing obstacles for you guys, yeah? And in some senses, the obstacles are your own energy, yeah? So, like I was saying, turn this back upright and that gives him more enlightenment. The universe has something behind their back for you. Yeah? The universe is not trying to make you sacrifice something again, which I feel is what you, you're fearing. So this Knight of Swords is charging off towards the past. And this Knight of Swords, this Knight of Cups, 
is moving towards the future. Now he's like, but my truth stands there. I know it does. I can make this work. And this night's like, no, come follow me. Come on this holy grail. I've got a mission for you. Look, I've got my wings there. Yeah. He's going to go and find something. He's following this little stream. You see the stream here? He's following that. That's his intuition. This night has no stream whatsoever. He's barely got any birds up there. Look, you can. there's birds up there, but they don't have a clear shot because of all of this um, clouds, yeah, that's hazing up the place. Everything's moving by too fast. It's If you're going to stop this month, stop and think about the direction you're going because I feel like the universe is offering you a new opportunity somewhere. So, I really do hope this has helped. If you'd like a personal reading from me, all the information is in the box below. Take care, stay blessed, thank you, bye-bye.